Welcome to another episode of Hip Hop Hoops Podcast. I am your host, Anthony Igadero. And I'm your co-host, Chris Blackwood. What up, what up, what up, what up? Let's go. So, you know, we want to shout out everybody who been supporting us, man. Continue to keep subscribing to Please. our YouTube, to our Apple Podcast. Follow us on Instagram. And what else? What else? Subscribe to us on Spotify. Let's get it. Yes. Shout out Title League, our distance cousins, man. Emoji, emoji fingers crossing that. Let's go. Um, so listen, there's a lot to unpack here today. Yo, a the lot. NBA is crazy right now. Whew. What do you let's start Kyrie with let's, Irving, no, man. let's start with Brooklyn. I know me and you had some big differences between, you know, Kyrie Irving, how you felt, how I felt yeah, about my, him. I remember my gut used to just say, You're not a good teammate, my right, dude. Right. But then his play just made me think different. I was like, you know what? Maybe, you know, Nash leaving. This is this is gonna be something special because they were on they went on a crazy won winning streak. Eighteen out of nineteen, you know what I mean? They, eight, they won eighteen out of twenty games right? at one point, twelve Ka in a row. KD goes out. I'm like, yo, they're gonna lose all their games. Mm -hmm. I remember saying that, and they end up winning like maybe three of those games. They won four. The they won, actually won five because yesterday they actually won without without even him, having Kyrie playing. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I was like, oh man, yo, Brooklyn's gonna turn this around. Mm -hmm. But we can't have a regular NBA season without. Kyrie doing something mm -hmm. to mess shit up. <laughs> okay, so on Friday, he requests a trade. Yes. So I think it was last week or the week before Kyrie said, listen, I would love to sign the extension well, with the Nets and I want to I want to stay here. This is right. where I want to end my career. Right. He made that announcement and I guess they must have went and, you know, started the negotiation and right. the Nets weren't having it. He said, nah, fam. <laughs> they, they put in the contract some stipulations <laughs> that, you know, he had to win a championship <laughs> in order to gain some money. Yeah. So, But I'm hearing some other things of as far as, you know, when Kyrie was like, so basically in New York State, when when a lot of those regular people were working, mm -hmm. they, they, got, they lost their jobs. Right. So apparently they're getting their money reimbursed. They're nice. Getting, they're getting back pay. So they oh, got, they got hired for again. That. Yes. So they're getting hired. They got hired again, and they're getting back. They're getting back pay of the money that they lost for the year, or wow. however long it was happening. Wow. Oh, so, so Kyrie said he wants so his money Kyrie back. Kyrie Irving is in the midst. <laughs> he's in the midst of that. He's, Yo. he's where he. I want my money. I want my money. Just like those yeah. people get their money. I'm in New York State. I had to follow the same rules. Right. And he, laws couldn't, he couldn't. He couldn't participate. Them. Right. Yes. So he said, "I wow. want my money." So. There's rumblings going on behind the scenes that, you know, the Nets are trying to get some of that money back so they don't mm. have to pay him. So they're trying yeah. to put those stipulations in the contract to get their <laughs> money back. business. But um, again, he, he, he <laughs> asked for a trade on Friday. It would, I, to me, it seemed like perfect timing because the deadline is next week on the 9th. Right. So what next Thursday, I believe, on the 9th. And that's the deadline. So it kind of put the Nets in a, in a tough situation. What is your thoughts? Yo, you had this coming, fams. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, you were just not being a good teammate. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You weren't being a good employee to an organization that was paying you mightily. You turned down the extension, fams. And then you wanted to get that back. Plus, you were missing mad games. Sure, you're giving us a sample size of your greatness. You know what I mean? But, bro, the damage has already been done, man. Steve Nash lost his job because of you. Flip it. And did I, Steve Nash lose his job because of him? Or did I think Steve so, Nash man. lose his job... Because of Steve Nash. No. Uh, maybe, uh, you know what? I'll meet you halfway with that. You know what I mean? But it'll be 70 30. Kyrie. Nepo Kyrie nep nepotism. Kyrie's ego. Kyrie having private practices. He was doing a lot, man. These and are my all, gut but these, are all, these are all things that we've heard. Well, that we, we heard. We, we don't know if these are all 100% true. The man said, yo, on a live, yo. Me and you, Katie, we, like, there's no coach. We can coach this team. Yeah, but he said it as, a, as, an, as in a joking manner, and everybody ran with that. Like, so he's be saying, it. He's saying it like, yo, me and you are so good, we don't even need a coach. Right. Bron, but, LeBron James is so good, Darvin Ham is not needed. Like, it, 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 But that's how a lot of certain players feel. Like, Jordan, were they not going to win without Phil Jackson? Nope. Of course they would have won Triangle. without Phil Jackson. I never man. seen Jordan win... First we off, can put this in the poll. Off, first Have off, you ever Phil seen Jackson, Jordan win a championship without the triangle first offense? First off, Phil Jackson didn't even make that, that triangle. Doesn't matter. Tex Winters did. We exactly. know that. Exactly. So then well, how could he not have won without him? If he didn't even... You're saying he won only because of the triangle. But Doug he's Collins, not the one who was in, implemented Doug it. Collins had him. 
it with the Bulls. Listen, I don't. They believe, didn't win anything. I don't believe coaches. Came, coaches win. They don't play. I'm no, sorry. No, no, it's a 50 50 deal, they man. Win. I've seen it's coaches. It's a 50 50 thing, man. Listen, I've seen coaches get fired after winning Coach of the Year on teams. Right? Coaches ain't got nothing. If you ain't got the players, everybody said pop, pop, pop. Right now, pop ain't got Tim Duncan. Right. And we see exactly what pops happening to pop. Yo, yo, pop. He got system. more gray hair, and he mm. looked like he's ready to retire and say, "Screw this." But all I'm if saying he don't is, get, if he don't get Victor, point. he's done. He's gonna retire. Great point. But so have let's you stop seen talking about coaching. MJ win a chip without the triangle? It don't matter. I'm just saying it doesn't. That's matter. a great question, though. I like it that. It don't right matter now. without have has Phil Jackson won without Michael Jordan, uh, Kobe Bryant, and Shaquille O'Neal? Phil Jackson, absolutely Phil not. Phil Jackson inherited the triangle offense. Let me and you go in. The, let me and you go in a triangle, and we're not gonna win no championship, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <They> try, <laughs> let's he, stop. Phil it. tried it with the Knicks. You're right. And, and it didn't he tried happen. It with the Knicks. And it didn't happen. <laughs> It's not gonna happen. But hey, man, that's the that's the ultimate question, and that, that's why people say LeBron's better. Like the look, the look. That's just LeBron people have fans, no sense. I just broke it saying, down for you. They be saying, "Yo, LeBron is winning chips without a system. It's his system, basically, right?" But yeah, trade for every player that I right? want. Right? <laughs> yeah, but make a super team every time I win. Of course, right? You're gonna but, win. MJ, what the, but MJ, but MJ, oh, we can talk about that another time. Yes, but yo, Kyrie, I felt like the disrespect to Steve from the jump. Set the tone for a lot of stuff. Okay. Right? Leaving for his his, his family's birthday, taking time right. off. Right. I don't um, agree with none of those things. During the during COVID, he didn't and it's up to him. Totally understand yep. it. You know, as me thinking as a, a eight to twelve player on the team, I'm taking the COVID shot. Sorry. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna do it for the for the team. You know what I mean? You don't have a choice. Right. If you, you, know, well, you right. do have a choice. If you're the tenth, twelfth player, who do you think you are <laughs> to say I'm not gonna take the, the vaccine? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just, just saying though. Honest. I think don't everybody have a choice, everybody man. that but there was a lot of superstars that played during the yeah, COVID. You era. had Wiggins. Wiggins said after he won the championship, I feel like I shouldn't I didn't want to take it. Right. Like I felt like right. I was forced. I didn't want to take that. But there was that. a lot of players, superstar caliber players, that took the shot. Well, that's on them. Right, and that's on them. For sure. I'm not, them. And I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying. He didn't want to rock with the team in that sense. And again, we're talking about a pandemic. Like, when does the pandemic... We're not acting... We're acting like a pandemic happens every year. Right. We can't trust Kyrie because we know in 2025, another pandemic is going to happen. Like, stop. No, no. Like, this is something that right. happened. Right. Come on. It's not right. going to happen all the time. And then he's, he's finding himself in regards to learning about the African culture. Seeing some stuff so that the ruffled a few, the, ant, the anti-Semitic. Yes, that ruffled okay. a few. Sha- you Shaq, know what I mean? Shaq, Shaq he, aired it in his theater, but we're not talking about Shaq. We're not talking about that, right? <laughs> Shaq, Fair Shaq enough. premiered it at his one of his movie theaters. We're not talking about Shaq. And Shaq publicly called him out. Yeah, and right? and called him a complete idiot. Right. So again, right. You know, but I I'm think I think a lot of this stuff is media driven. Mm. All weekend, um, I, Stephen A. Smith is just he. I, I don't I don't agree with a lot what Stephen A. Smith has done. You know, you're speaking on this guy's money yeah. a lot. A whole lot. And your voice is very, very powerful. It is. So you spoke on Kyrie Irving all the time. And you said, if he balls and he plays, he if he plays, he deserves his money. So For now the year, when he balls, without paying. When, but, but, but again, right. we're not saying Stephen A. Smith, you deserve to get paid per year when right. you're making your 8 to 10 million or whatever you're making a year. Mm-hmm. It's not fair. If this young black man feels he deserves what he deserves because he performed, who are we to say, no, that's not your value. You don't deserve that. Right. That, and, no, I think, that's and, true, I, and I think we do, I don't I don't think we should speak on other people's money. I think that's totally wrong. I think Stephen A. Smith is out of pocket because when you were fighting ESPN and you felt like you deserved that money, you went and you spoke publicly and you said, I deserve this and this, and you got your money. But yo, the best ability is availability, fam. Okay, and Kyrie Irving. My Irvin, guy was Kyrie, never available. Kyrie Irving's okay. And that's what he was basing it on from being an employee for an organization. <laughs> How are you going to provide services if you're never around and you're still collecting your money? I hey, think that's what I, Stephen A. Smith was more I talking about. I think that's pocket watching. Don't watch my pockets. <laughs> do not watch my pockets. But now, guess what? what? Because of Kyrie, the next CBA agreement, there's going to be so much. Is it big... only? Is it only because of Kyrie? Ky- Kawhi, there's a bunch. Exactly. And, Kyrie hasn't even and, missed the most games. Pop, Kawhi <laughs> and, has missed 25 games. And this Pop year. is the one that started this whole load management stuff. Yeah. So, so you know so, what I mean. But I get it. But so how can we blame? We can't blame. We have guys. I seen I seen a post where LeBron was playing. I think he was playing in Memphis or something like that. And a parent was like, "LeBron, can you reimburse my money? Ooh. It was my son's birthday, and he wanted to come. Damn. It, it, we I, I paid for the tickets for him to come watch you play. Right? LeBron just totally ignoring it. He heard it though. Of course, he heard it. <laughs> so again, that is a problem. Guy sitting out. I seen right. I seen um 
Uh, and uh, not Anthony Jimmy Butler name? Jimmy Butler shout out and that kid um, came from what Argentina with, with Argentina absolutely oh my goodness they, they made it up but they made still it up, but still that's not again, what they came we ha- for again we have the kid from New Orleans who's played out he's been sitting out for a bruised toe how do you mm. sit out for a bruised toe but if it's the big toe you Come gotta on. no 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 the big toe Listen, hurts fam my toe's been hurting that shit hurts. since I've been playing but it still hurts I don't play basketball no more but I got to get up and go right. walk every day to go to work. Yeah. I ain't talk, I ain't calling yeah. work saying, listen, my, my big toe, it hurts. And we I can't our, walk. At the hall monitor, we're on our feet all so, day. So, again, let's, let, let's stop the nonsense. It's not only because Kyrie's missing games. It's so many other players has missed way more games than him. And, and Ben Simmons just robbing them. And Ben Simmons is just fleecing the whole entire <laughs> NBA. The only news you see about Ben Simmons is when he wants to get his engagement ring back from his ex-girlfriend or he's out posing in front of his Porsche with a new ting. That's right. the only time you see him. But his defense is on point. It's, just, it's when, just the offense. When do you remember a great defensive play by Ben Simmons? Crickets? There you go. Anyways, I feel that I feel that um, it was a power move by Kyrie. It didn't go the way he actually right. wanted it to go because we all know he wanted to stay with the Nets. That's where his heart was at. Mm-hmm. But again, I feel, you know, he was traded. To Dallas. We to, found the yeah, news out. He was traded to news. Dallas. For, That's big um, news right uh, there. F- uh, Dorian Finney-Smith. Yep. Uh, um, what's his name? Spencer Dinwiddie. Ooh, that's big. And some draft picks. Yes. So Dallas got rid of all of their defense. You know, <laughs> they had one guy who but, plays defense. But, they but got they, rid of him. But they got a lot of offense. They got a lot of offense. Efficient but offense. But I don't even think the offense was the issue. But again, they needed someone because your need- best pl- now your two best players can't defend. Mm-hmm. Your two best players cannot defend at all. But in the NBA today. You know what I mean? It's great defense, but it's just better offense yeah, right but now, you, man. But you got to be able to stop somewhat. But, but yo, on Kyrie, Kyrie on the ball, his defense pretty on point. Just getting a sample size with KD being out. I think, he's, I, think, I think he's lazy on defense. I think it's a little overblown how the media right. talks about his defense. I right. think he can. I've seen him lock up James Harden last year when right. he went to uh, Philadelphia. Right. So, Right. This is this is a good look though. This is good for the NBA. The West just got a whole lot spookier. The parody is unbelievable. And, and do you think this move is gonna help Dallas? I think it I, I think in the rankings that is? I believe he's gonna get his money. So I, I, I'm so glad that the owner this is the owner that got him. Um we I all we can like I said, this whole narrative that nobody wanted Kyrie, you know, was just media driven by the media dr- dr- like <coughs> writing this Fidel. narrative. Because they wanted to push Kyrie to the Lakers. Right. So all week, I heard it on Friday. As soon as I heard it, Hot Rod called me. He's going to the Lakers. Shout out Hot Rod. Shout out Hot Rod. Jungle's fighting. Jungle said he's fighting. Yeah. I see you, brother. All I heard, Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. Right. Imagine this trade. Kyrie Irvin to and Kyrie Irvin and Seth Curry to the Lakers <laughs> for Westbrook and draft picks. <laughs> and everybody said They're that is the that. best trade available. That's what they said. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I hear what you're saying in regards and to all, media And all weekend, I've watched videos. Kyrie, you're a fool because you just thought you deserved this money. And this was drama. I've heard Kendrick Perkins. Everybody was riding this man because he felt what he thought his worth was. Pause. Pause, pause. Sorry. Sorry, I just had to throw a pause in there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is just a horrible... I, let's, let's talk about how poorly ran... Brooklyn Nets organization is. I I think they like to because I I think I think this is so much riding on Kyrie. But let's see how, how bad is Brooklyn. They react Nets? way too much. I I don't know if they had a plan. Like they had their plan with Steve Nash, James Harden, KD, and Kyrie. When James Harden and Kyrie didn't sign that extension, I think everything kind of went downhill from there. Kind of. You know what I mean? No, but it was it was before that. You think so? Absolutely. Well, it was before that when when you first you you Joe Size Canadian. Uh Mark uh Sean Marks played with Steve Nash in right. Phoenix. You signed Steve Nash, a coach that has no experience at all, a coaching. Right. Zero. But still a brilliant basketball mind. I don't care. You got to have experience. There was Fair a enough. lot of coaches and and I love Steve Nash and people think I hate Steve Nash. He's a Canadian. We're always going to show love to our Canadians. But let's be honest. You just didn't deserve that job. There's a lot of guys that were more qualified than you. And we've seen when you left how the team is operating now. It's totally different. They focus more on defense. They look like they're running plays. There's like way more. Uh, they pay attention to details. Mm-hmm. It just looks way different than when Steve Nash was running the team. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to just put it on Steve Nash. Again, I'm going to go with 
the GMs and the owners. Mm -hmm. You got, like, this is nepotism. We all know Joe Sire Canadian, so you want to hire the Canadian guy. There's Mark Jackson. There's other coaches that are brilliant coaches. But do you think Mark Jackson is blackballed, though? Yes, I do. So why, no disrespect, but why are we, why are they going to hire them? Don't you think Mark Jackson would have been a hire if being from New York yeah, it made, all the, it made all the from, sense in the world. He's from Queens. Exactly. It makes all the sense. All the sense in the world. So then why don't you do it? Higher power is probably saying no, right you, now. No, you own your a... own team. You can do whatever you want. That's true too. But... Bring in a guy who's worth look, uh, uh, Golden State. We already hear them all the time talking about Mark Jackson. He's the reason why Facts. they are who they are. Facts. So bring him in. You hire Steve Nash. That's mistake number one. Right. This is mistake number two. You go and trade your bigs, Jared Allen and, and, and Jared Levert for James Harden who came, who was looking like a fat guy. Like he had the fat suit on. You trade him for him. Right. And that becomes a horrible decision. Mm. You trade away all of your, your bench and everything for James Harden. He wants out. So now sec mistake number three, you trade James Harden where he wants to go. Right. For Ben Simmons, who had a bad back. How do you not, where's the physical of that? How do you not give this guy? How do you get traded? How did he even get away with that though? That's exactly. the million dollar question. So that's, that, so that's on ben the Nets. Ben Simmons, the that's ultimate the finesser. Nets. Salute. Salute to on, you, brother. That's on the that's on the Nets. You gotta right. do your due diligence. Right. How do you accept a, a hurt player? Right. Now he comes in here, now he has to have back surgery. And Crazy. he's never looked the same. He does not look the same no. at all. So now you have a guy who's making all this money and he's no good to you. Mm. You know, mm, mm, mm. finally you start making some progress. We get you, you let go of Steve Nash, like Kevin Durant said, right. and now your team goes on a, a 12 game winning streak. You go from the bottom all the way to the top two, top right. three team in the East. Four right now. Now you're now you're looking relevant again. Right. And now Kyrie does exactly what he's supposed to do, exactly what you guys asked him to do. Make no noise, ball out, and you're gonna get your money. Mm -hmm. And you wanna put stipulations in the contract about winning a championship? Why would I sign that? Mm. Okay, you don't want me? You don't value me? Okay, trade me. Why is everybody upset because he said that? That's that's business. I'm not, I'm not. Then you hear guys, oh, KD's your friend. KD just asked for a trade too. It's business. What are we supposed to do here? Uh, that's a good question, man. Uh, KD. Guys, let's talk, let's stop focusing on how mm. bad and how this Kyrie is this and he's a distraction. Let's talk about how poorly ran the Brooklyn Nets franchise is. Let's talk about that. But um, you know, moving along, All Star. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, I know you got a lot to say about this one because we made our predictions and we were we were almost right with our predictions. We were almost you right. know, Julius Randle. I don't know where he came from. <laughs> should have been Brunson. Should have been Brunson. You know, if they were gonna go with the Knicks, a Knicks representative. I, I, absolutely. But the big time stuff. Who's your biggest All Star snub? I'm gonna go. Honestly, I, I feel like on the East. Can I go conferences? Just go. Yeah. Just yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. On the East. I'm gonna go with Pascal. I think he got of snubbed. Course. You know what of I mean? Twenty eight, eight and twenty five, eight and six. Yes. Only like four guys averaging that. You know yeah. what I mean? And to not ever make the All Star. Game. Right. To not yes. ever make the All Star yep. team, and that's just mm. that's just blasphemy. But the I've record. Been hearing, but but hold on. A lot of people been saying the record. Right. When has All Star being selected for All Star have anything to do with your record? It's it's never been that for Facts. real. Because now, if we're going to say record, okay, Shea, you're having a great season, you can't make it because right. your team is 13th in, in the league. Exactly. You know, uh, uh, DeMar DeRozan, you can't make it because your Bulls suck. Right. Are we going to say, well, the Bulls have, you know, there are three games ahead of you guys. So right. that's why he's going to, come on, stop it, but bro. But that, that, that shows stop it. Raptors, like you got the 24 and 30, I'm so hurt. I felt like a lot of hidden agendas this season. You know what I mean? You guys have to understand, for us, I think the last three seconds in the key call in the NBA was towards the Raptors. So that just show you, we don't get calls, we don't get the love from the NBA like that. So we got to force them. We got to have a great record. And guess what? You got a lot of you players, and I love you guys to death, you came in with a hidden agenda, man. You guys wanted your dollars. You guys wanted... Yep. Say Hi, the name. I, say the name. Who won the dollars? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say, say the name. Who won the dollars? I ain't gonna say it. I, Freddie, I got too much respect bet on for them. Mister, bet on yourself. I ain't gonna say it. You know what I mean? Lost I mean, thirty OG, million a year. Sorry, man. OG, Freddie, Pascal, Gary. You know what I mean? I feel like you guys came in with a hidden agenda this year. You know what I mean? And look, man, it, it cost us some wins, which ultimately cost you guys certain man's spot on the All Star team. You know what I mean? Well, Pascal's we gotta the fix only up. one, the only one who deserves. We, to be on we that got, team. we gotta fix up, man. We gotta fix up. Trade deadline's coming. We're gonna see what next Sunday. It's gonna be an interesting 
an interesting Freddie, thing. Bet on yourself. See ya. Oh. Um, but who? So that's on the east. Who's on the west for you? Uh, on the west, on the west, I have to go with um, uh, Darren Fox. He should have been on that. They should have had two Sacramento Kings representatives on yep. that squad. Damian Lillard. That's Again, my guy. Horrible record, but he made it. Right? Damian Lillard's my guy. Jaron Jackson. Oh, my God. What has happened? <laughs> should not be on the All-Star team, period. Right? Sorry. But he should, Darren Fox should have been in it. And yes, I agree. He got he got snubbed big time. Yep, I agree. Um, I would more... So, so actually, Steph Curry got hurt, so he won't be playing. So, they got to they gotta fill that in. Right. Uh, I think Aunt Edward should make it, or De'Aaron Fox, one oh, of the two. Oh, for sure. But Pascal's definitely my my big snub. That's just disgusting. Um, let's stop talking about records. Records has nothing to do with All Star. Records only comes into play when we're talking about MVPs, All NBAs. Right. But it never has to do with records because now if it's records, we got to throw away a lot of guys. Facts. So let's stop talking. I'm not gonna say. Well, he has three more games. In the in the win column to right. stop it, <laughs> like <laughs> the guy's averaging twenty six plus twenty eight plus, like stop it. Right. This is the first time in NBA history that hasn't happened. That's so crazy. I believe Pascal in the East for me in the West is Anthony Edwards. I feel he should have made yeah, it. Man. This is his coming out party. He's showing everybody why he should have been Rookie of the Year over Lamelo Ball, and it's showing that he is actually going to be a way better player down the road than Lamelo Ball. So yes, those are my snubs. All right. I agree. I agree. So, I agree. Raptors, just fix up, man. Well, yeah. No hidden yeah. agendas out here, man. Guys, Freddie Van Vliet, you got to go. Um, but um, <laughs> moving on to hip-hop. Love you, Freddie, man. You're my guy. <laughs> moving on to hip-hop, man. <laughs> hip-hop scene. So DJ Drama, he put something out there mm -hmm. where he said the new the new Little Uzi Vert. Mm. New, new, new Little Uzi Vert song, yeah. I Just Wanna, yeah. is the new Philadelphia Anthem. Over Dreams and Nightmares by Meek Mill. What is your thoughts? Because we've been writing to Meek Mill, Dreams and Nightmares. Like, that beginning is probably one of the best. The best. Intros to a song. Timeless. Maybe ever. Timeless. <laughs> you know what? If if the Eagles win the Super Bowl, okay, that can work as the anthem. But until then, Dreams and Nightmares, to me, even though I'm not from Philly, that should be the anthem hands down. Period. I like, that. I like I like that as a better song. You know what I mean? But it's good this, for the young people. Like they this got little the Uzi Vert song with a dance. Like the dances, it's going crazy it's going right nuts. now. And I'm not knocking it. It's great for <laughs> hip hop, all that. But like, come on, man. Come on, man. It just there's more soul. There's more passion with dreams and nightmare, bro. You it's feel just, it in your skin. You just feel it. That's more. That intro's that's crazy. more Philly, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? It's a timeless track. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? Meek, you still got the crown. But if Eagles win the chip. That's the only thing that's going to determine it. That's going to determine it. Bottom line. Because apparently that's the new coming out song to the right. seat, to the Eagles. They right. come out to that. So, right. We'll see. You know. we'll, if they win the Super Bowl, I'll salute. You can have it. It was a great run, <laughs> Meek. You know what but I yo, mean? But until then. Hove. He was in the news again, you know. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get an invitation to the Rock Nation brunch. <laughs> 50 was, wasn't there. Eminem wasn't there. I don't think 50 has the attire because the do-rag and fitted hat is just doesn't work. Yo, when 50 wants wear? to get suited and booted, he gets suited and booted. <laughs> but listen, we don't gotta we ain't gotta go to the brunch, man. Shout know out to Hove, man. Just black excellence. Straight just up. a whole bunch of different stuff, Definitely. man. I see. He's gonna um, be performing at the Grammys as well, right? He also, that's 50, gonna be huge. 50 will not be performing there. It's okay. Or Eminem. It's okay. But, be, you know, they'll be overseas doing what they do yeah, worldwide. I don't, I, don't, I don't know about it's that. It's okay. But anyways, overseas, but we all know where the eyes are, all eyes. All eyes will be on the Grammys, and that's where Hov will be performing. I don't know about all that, man. Absolutely. Catch but, a um, snippet. But Rock, or Jay-Z again, on he's World at Star it. or something. Uh, what, what, what is your thoughts about the Rock Nation brunts? When you see all those- I mean, you know, I think you nailed it on the head, brother. Like, the, just the black excellence mm. piece. There's so many, there's so many phenomenal black brothers and sisters doing phenomenal work in the industry. Right. In sports, in their in their respective industry, right, that are right. all there, they get the yes. invite. If you get the invite, you know, you know, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing your How thing. How do we get the invite? How do we get the invite? We gotta get the invite. Maybe I have to apologize, but ain't happening. Sorry. But you don't have to apologize. Cause everybody thinks you're crazy. What are you saying? What you saying? <laughs> so we, apology is not necessary, but we gotta get, like, we you gotta get there, I, man. I'll rather, I'll rather go to you know OVO Fest. Right, I know. Right. I'd rather chill. I'd rather chill. The reps up, man. Them, right, and OVO and them. Those you know guys, what I mean? Those are some guys. So that's black. That's black excellence over <laughs> that is there as well. Black excellence. You know what I mean, so 
it's cool. I'll roll. I'd rather roll with fifty and M to Jeremy and them places. Right. If not, if I got if I gotta stay home, you know what I mean. Right. Or wherever, wherever the OVO manum are, I'm there, hands down. Jigga, yeah. it's okay. Why do you say it like that though? It's okay. It's okay. But um, so oh, reps up records. Yes. You know they they signed the kid. What's his name? Um. Uh, Sway Swaby Lone Wolf. Ooh, he got he got some bangers, man. But he's he you know he he just signed he just signed with um Columbia Records. Okay, you know they did a collaboration project, or whatever. Preem, that's that's over, uh, reps up records. Yes, artists. Nice, and they got the deal done. Nice, you know we've heard some bangers from him. He can sing, man. He can is sing. He, is he next up out of the six? I like I like his sound. Right. I like I like his sound. I like the content. He could be. We got Reps a lot. Up records, man. We got a lot. Of, we got a lot of artists, man. Absolutely. But a lot of our artists, our underground hip hop artists, don't got that machine. Mm. That reps up machine. It could be something. Because you know that what that reps up them. machine is that OVO machine. Oh my goodness! And when you get that stimulus package, <laughs> you already know how that goes. You already know how that goes, man. But out of line, out of line from Swavy, man. Yes. I, I, that's I've been bumping that a lot. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So. I, I like the pickup, man. Yep. They got it. They got it. They got that ear for the sound, man. No, they, they, they definitely, they definitely you know do. I mean? They definitely so, do. So shout out to those boys. Reps up, man. OVO all day, you know every day. Is, man. You guys need to come up with a brunch. The OVO reps up brunch. Ooh, that'll be dope. Are we getting invited to that? We're hope so. We're definitely getting invited. I to hope that so. Too, We're definitely getting invited <laughs> to that, man. Come, come on, man. man. Come but that's on. all I have, brother, man. You know, if you want to take us out, if you got Yo, anything man. else, man. I mean, it's Black History Month. I want to shout out everybody doing what they're doing. You know what I mean? All the young entrepreneurs, all the entrepreneurs that have their businesses doing it big. I got to shout out my brand, me and my bros. Yes, sir. Grand, Grand Slammers. Slammers. You know Let's what I mean? It. Follow us at Grand Slammers on Instagram, www.grandslammers1988.com. That's the website. A hey, look out for the Hip Hop Hoops merge coming soon. Shout out CYBL, Hoop City, OBA, youth basketball in the, in the province, in the country. It's a beautiful thing for yes. parents. And parents, calm the f- down. Just calm down, <laughs> B. Calm, calm down. down. We're doing it for the kids. You know what I mean? <laughs> we should not be <laughs> costing games for kids. It's a kid's game. We shouldn't be fighting. You know what I mean? Fine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at that. If you know, you know. Yo, keep following us on YouTube. Before we go though, right. I wanna shout out CMS Sports. Yes. Curtis, Mr. Curtis McLean. We will be <laughs> the there. OG, in attendance, triple OG man. Curtis, we coming. We will be there February the tournament is from February 8th to 12th. I think we'll be there on the Sunday, the yes. last day. The Saturday. We'll be yes. there on the Saturday on the last day. Live. Um live, live. on location. It's at Crestwood. Oh yeah. So we will be there. This is junior seniors. This is the 19th annual tournament, Black History Tournament, man. Yes. So shout out Curtis. Yes. We will be there in attendance, man. You guys pull up on us, man. We will be there live Come on, on location. Come Let's on, get man. it. Who you rolling with? Jay-Z or Fifth? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. But yo, we out, man. Salute.